fight to protect Louisiana's $5 million a year citrus industry continues. This week, officials with the LSU Ag Center met with citrus growers, nursery owners, and backyard gardeners to talk about the Asian citrus psyllid. As we reported earlier on our program, this tiny bug could carry an incurable disease called citrus greening that destroys citrus trees. This week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson shows us how the LSU Ag Center is taking a proactive approach to fighting this invasive pest. Armed with a camera and knowledge, LSU Ag Center entomologist Dr. Natalie Hummel ventures into backyards in Lafouche Parish. She and other researchers are looking for a tiny bug that could cause big problems. This is the silage right here. It's hard to see, but the white squiggly lines are the calling card of the Asian citrus psyllid. Those are excreted by the larvae. And that speck crawling on Bobby Fletcher's hand, that's an adult. The insect alone is not much of a problem. The problem is that the citrus psyllid can carry a tree disease called citrus greening, which causes leaves to yellow in splotches, stops fruit from ripening, and eventually kills the tree. The disease has only been found in one tree in Orleans Parish, and that's since been destroyed. We're hoping that by taking a proactive approach to managing this insect disease complex, we can decrease the occurrence of disease, hopefully. We've been working closely with the Department of Agriculture. And this is how they're being proactive, by meeting with citrus growers, nursery owners, and backyard gardeners to tell them what to look for and how to deal with the psyllid. The insect only reproduces on flushing tissue on the plant, so that would be any of the new growth, um, like this type material, these small, tight little tendrils that are small leaflets on the trees that are coming out during a flush. So lemon trees, for instance, will be really vulnerable. Anything that's nursery stock because it's going to be flushing constantly. Hummel says a citrus tree is not the only place you can find the psyllid. Oh, yeah. Okay. It can also live in bushes like this Mariah, which is also known as a Lakeview Jasmine. Hummel says it's tough to protect against the psyllid. You would have to spray these leaves weekly with horticultural grade oils, oils that can damage plants in the summer because of the heat. Even then, that does not mean your plant may not already have the citrus greening disease. That is one of the real problems in that a tree can become infected and it may not show symptoms for anywhere from six months to a couple of years. And in that time, the bacterium is growing in the plant, and the psyllids eventually will be able to pick it up and transmit it, even though we don't know that the tree is infected. So we could be sitting with the reservoir of the disease everywhere. Hopefully, they've armed these people with the knowledge to stop the psyllid in time. In Lafouche Parish, I'm Avery Davidson for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Dr. Natalie Hummel asks if you see what appears to be citrus greening or the Asian psyllid on your trees or jasmine bushes to please call the LSU Ag Center at area code 225-952-8100. And to learn more about the Asian citrus psyllid, you can visit our website at twilighttv.org.